Okay, picking up with problem number two, solving a differential equation, we want to separate the variables. What that means is we want all the y's on one side, we want all of the x's on the other. So I'm going to divide both sides by y squared or multiply by 1 over y squared. Simultaneously, I'm going to multiply by uh, dx. This is known as separating the variables, and it's a necessary first step in solving any differential equation. From here, I'm just going to take an antiderivative. The antiderivative of, really, this is y to the negative 2. Well, we bump this up to the y to the negative 1, and we divide by negative 1. Uh, over here on the right side, we bump this up to a 2 and divide by 2. So we'd get 4x squared all over a 2. And the antiderivative of 2 is just a 2x. But don't forget, of course, we'd have a constant. Uh, so this is really negative 1 all over y is equal to a 2x squared plus a 2x plus c. But guys, we also have 0 comma negative 2 as uh, what we really have for a uh, initial condition. So I'm going to let my y value be negative 2, my x value being 0. Well, my goodness, you can see quickly that your c is just going to be positive 1 half. Well, where is that going to take us? Well, we're going to have negative 1 over y is equal to 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 half. Uh, tell you what, I'm going to uh, flip this. I'm going to take the reciprocal and say, well, negative y over 1 would then have to be 1 all over 2x squared uh, plus 2x plus a half. And I could multiply by negative 1 on both sides. And of course, we'd wind up with this equation right here. There's just one little problem. We have fractions inside of fractions. So to get rid of that, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by a 2. And you can see where we're going. Our final answer, the numerator is negative 2. Down below, we'll have a 4x squared plus 4x, and then 2 times a half is just a 1. And that would be our final answer.